Uh, hey everybody, welcome back to Borderlands. My name is Mikey Dubs. Welcome back to Randomized Roguelands. Last week we had a pretty good week, and that's uh, a lot of that was because we started off with a few good wins and some characters: Axon first, Maya second, Gage third, Z Zero fourth, and then I went to Salvador, lost. So I just played regular Krieg after that without much stress. But it kind of started me on a a path that I want to try to complete now, and that is to run the Gauntlet one through six. Um, I kind of want to do it in Roguelands proper, but Roguelands mini... It just takes less time for me to get through the entire game. If I was just playing for, you know, beat the first boss, which takes about usually half an hour to 40 minutes, I would do Roguelands proper. But... Roguelands mini has a certain something. In my opinion over rogue lands proper and i think and i think what that certain something is is that you get that sense of completion more than you do um but just being tier one you can only, i mean you can always set your own challenges and maybe this is the time where i learn the lore maybe i should learn the lore hello tanis I i've played how many rounds of this and i've never once looked the lore Tannis, what does the Tannis note say? Hello, friend. While I'm away, I could use your help. I've been experimenting with Seraph Crystals and, able, and been able to produce artificial power from them. Okay, good job. I won't, be, I won't bore you with the science, but long story short, I was able to build a simulation that I'm calling the Rogue Lance. Okay. It simulates combat from our world, and it would be helpful to, anal to analyze your combat encounters for science. Anyways, please step into the simulation when you are ready. Don't die. Your neurons are linked to my machines. If you if you die in the simulation, you die in our world. That shouldn't be a big deal. Of course, with off with you. Oh my gosh, the stakes are high. I mean, this is gonna give me. If I watch, if I do too much lore stuff, I'm gonna start talking about the story of the main game, and that can only lead me down, lead me down a rabbit hole where no one, none of us want to be. Let's just say Tannis is not my my most favorited individual character. It's something about her personality and stuff like that. It's just whenever and whenever I show up, she's always she's always telling me what to do. Like she's got a mission planned for me already every time I show up there. Yeah, I guess a lot like most of the characters when you go talk to them do have that. To me, when I show up to Tannis, it's like, hey, Vault Hunter, I've been meaning to ask you. Everyone else, like, I showed up to, like, I don't even know. I, I should really look back at the, the actual quotes to find out for, for real. Five points. I think Gemini off rip. I think this is an easy decision. We also have Sentry down here. I'll, I'll continue on with my talk about Tannis. Sentry is important on Axton because you can increase your Saber Turret's duration, which is important because it can tank for you. Problem with this skill tree being now, though, is I don't have the longbow, the longbow turret skill, which allows me to not only throw my turret like a long with like a longbow grenade, but also gives it like a hunting 110 bonus HP percent bonus HP. But if I'm running Gemini build, I don't care about the, the HP at all. In fact, I kind of just want to run Gemini with the Metal Storm kill skill build for now. I'm going to abuse uh, Gemini and. Probably use this doll sniper rifle and try to rinse through the, the rogue lands like they're not even there. I did go adaptive, but would I be better off going something like this shield here? I don't have any HP regen yet, so I honestly think... I have a sniper. I kind of want to have something for a close range, but... Let's go with a 2.3 second recharge delay and just try to keep our shield up as best as we can using utilizing cover and moving on. So, Tannis, she got... Was that an ultimate badass to my left, by the way? No. I'm just going to take a little bit of a jog over here because sometimes these frames can take a little bit to lo um, load in. So, Especially first round of the day. I, always, I feel like my frames usually get better as we go. Tannis, she becomes, spoilers, she becomes a siren. By the way, a uh, metal storm coming in clutch here. I probably should have done Gemini shenanigans. But we are we're, we are who we are. We have s still five, five or so seconds left on this kill scale. Five or so seconds. There we go. A reset. 
Into the wall, one man goes. I think I have a test lock as well, too. Oh, Singularity actually might be kind of sick. Okay, that, we haven't taken any damage yet, so. Now I'm a Borderlands player. Did you see that? Oh, music swap? That music swap. Now we got the, the old West music. Wild West. No fall damage in Borderlands. Okay. First red chest. Let's see what we got. We're looking for some good luck here. Um, it's our first Pyro Pete shenanigans weapon. And honestly, is would this bandit be a better overall option? I think so. The high fire rate, the, um, high fire rate for Metal Storm should synergize with the low, low big magazine size from bandit. Let's see. Launcher damage or SMG max ammo. Don't need either one yet. I think cooldown rate clears. So let's let's pull our first Gemini off here. I don't think I need to jump down there. If I just use a sniper rifle, and then toss second, reclaim. That procs my kill skills. Is it cheating? Yes. Do I care? Uh, a little bit, because I've already gotten. I'm not sure if I've gotten a win using this strategy yet. I think I I have one. So like yeah, it's, it has lost its luster as a little bit as a glitch, but. I, th I personally think that it's I a nice buff to Axton is the fact what gives his class a little bit more of an identity because that's something I think Axton players kind of struggle with is like what is my identity like the splash guy yeah true but another way to play him he's the kill skill guy he can activate kill skills on command no other class has that no other class has that metal storm off rip so that's, I think that's a cool identity that I'm okay allowing him to have. So get my second turret out, find some cover. Use this metal storm on this guy though. Do we get him? No, we don't quite get him. Accuracy on this bandit isn't the highest and I'm just about out of doll sniper ammo, so. There's an argument between me that you should keep your, that you should be keeping your Oh, 10 out of 10. 15 out of 15. I, I, I thought about taking off the clear, clear all enemies on round ends. Okay, so TD or Chucks with an SMG max ammo relic does go pretty hard. And I think that would be fools not to lean into it at least a little bit. Even if it doesn't synergize with Metal Storm. We have the best shield skill in the game, in my opinion, which is Willing. We take that for sure. Okay. Why do I think willing is so good? Because it not only gives you back big percentages of... So it's... What is that? 8% to shield recharge? No. Even higher. 16 40 divided by 4 is 12. Yeah, 12. It gives you 12% to shield recharge delay, and it gives you... How many points? 15 points for shield recharge rate, percentage-based. Extreme synergy with turtle shields, kind of, but most importantly, extreme synergy with B shields. There are times in the dragon fight that, where you will not be taking damage. It's usually not right away unless you have access to something like a turret. That's why typically in the final fight, in the beginning of the fight, I actually don't do Gemini swaps. Um, because I, I prefer to have the turret, one if not two, out there to tank any possible damage for me. I want to get them, I want them to get the aggro first. I want to get my one shot off on Green Dragon, and then I want them to take all the aggro for me. In the, in the fight, in the beginning. But towards the end, when I'm feeling more comfortable and strong, I will then swap another framey zone. But let, let's go ahead and swap to our Pushka. And um, we probably, at the end of the day, want to have our TDR SMG out, but maybe... It, maybe this will be good enough. Let's go... Let's go to Slag SMG for tops. That'll also take out shields. So like, while I'm taking out their shields, I can also be slagging them. Okay, I had them... I have the max rate or max explosive damage relic on or um, SMG relic. Very good 
very good matchup for me. Just those lads. I maybe have it's already started taking too much damage for them to swap to the turret, but we can give it a shot. Okay. We're doing okay here. We still have a lot of ammunition left. So for this zone, this is good enough damage for me, honestly. I want to thank the turret for what it's done for me. Shoot this live barrel. Try to go for one or two more tosses. Get the kill. Now, we saw how much the slide could do for us there. Let's keep that, that train rolling here. Walk forward, walk back. Don't panic against these lads. Yep. I could have I could have been definitely taking this guy out. I want to get better at um, swapping to the proper weapons at the right time using the, the numbered keys. But, oh, been made fun of for it. And I understand why. It definitely is more optimal to just... Swap to, swap to the right weapons. So, and, and having a certain number associated with each roll. I typically go primary weapon in one. That's what that's, that's what I should do. Slag and two should be my, my go-to. But the thing is, slag and healing are different things. So I'm going to say primary in one, quick swap is going to be in two. Alternative damage in three makes sense to me. Or, or, or kind of flex to utility two. And then four is launcher. It's another launcher damage relic, but I think I'm comfortable enough that we won't need it. Okay, so I don't think you can get the pre the pressure plate because the 1.0.9 update makes it so you can't take damage after rounds over. So even if I try to grenade jump, this won't be able to. However, I think I've gotten up there before. I might pause the video and, and try a couple times. And once one more I'm talking about, I'll show you here in a second. We're gonna go one point in willing here. Note that we also have Onslaught for kill skills. Any other major kill skills. Five or six shots is actually a nice one. So is follow through. We're going to have some, some good, a good run here, I think. One shot, one kill definitely is very strong as well. Zero signature sniper skill. Life tap on, on... Okay, life tap. This makes a lot of sense to me. Life tap kill skill gives me life steal. That's my defense. That's my defense wrapped up in one skill. Okay. Life steal on cooldown, on command. Every time I do this, boom. Life tap, active. That's, that's, that's a lot of downtime, but that's what willing's for. So. Toss this grenade and watch. The grenade jump will not work. Right? So I, I haven't been trying to do this jump because I'm pretty sure... That I've completed this jump before. So I'm going to pause the video and see if I can keep doing it. Attempt number one. Oh! Okay, okay. I just, hope, I just don't want you guys to miss it when I actually get it. I was thinking about it, but... Okay, I'll see you guys in a sec. Okay, I did make it. That was probably jump number four. Can he recreate it? Can he recreate it? Oh, is there a second difficult jump? Nope, we're there. Thought I saw a ladder. I was going to be like, what? Probably always worth it then to take this jump. I'm happy to see that you can actually get here. The, the, the one thing I will say about all the pressure plates so far that I think there's a way with grenade jumping to almost them all of them. Okay, the spitter actually is like without a, a real meme. And okay, I saw rifle. If you have a ton of fire rate. Obviously that bandit shotgun goes pretty hard. Still have a faster swap rate. The fire rate is pretty atrocious though. 2.5 rounds per 10 seconds. When this one shoots 8 rounds. Okay. Let's rock. Can someone in the comments tell me eventually like what is the best element to use against High Purious? I I mean I've I think it's I've got it tracked locked down to he resists shock. But he's weak to explosive. But I don't know if he actually has a breakdown like that. But the, obviously, it's corrosion for the robots, I believe. Okay, metal storm plus five. Really good for grenade, grenade tosses here. This, um, ex these veteran class mods. I, of course, we'll take the rifleman. I get these, this is, a, that's a good assortment of, of class mods right there. I think for now, if we're just talking straight deeps, it's still TD or Chucks. Followed up by some longbow Tesla kicker. Let's run it. Now I actually know. And by the way, that weapon on the screen, infection cleaner, not cool. Go back to Tannis. She became a siren 
and then then all of a sudden had like otherworldly powers but i i was a little bit weirded out by like how the siren powers were getting shifted from people to people to different people when I first heard about like what sirens were, I of course didn't know how they actually worked and each story has the right to be its own story. They don't have to copy other stories. Uh, a little bit early on that, but the, the window is actually pretty nice. Yep. I mentioned someone in the comments was explained to me how it worked. And I, had set, I had told them to reply. It's actually, it's actually pretty forgiving. Um, I should stop running from those guys. Just take the damage most of the time. So Siren got thrusted these, or uh, um, Tannis got given these Siren powers. We have we have life tap. If we if we take any damage, um, we're going to be able to regen it, uh, especially with the blue power up active. Not really concerned. And now we start um, kill skill swapping. And that was really a bad move on my part. What I just did. Uh, if you notice what I did there was where's my life tap is not working. But I don't have it yet. That's right. Let's wait till next round. I'm getting ahead of myself with my build. When you get low HP, it's almost better to sometimes step out. Oh, I threw my I think I threw my turret and it died instantly, or I'm not sure what happened. But I'm making the same mistake again. I'm focused too much on doing the auto the, the kill skill strategy when I'm getting kill skills like in the fight. It's only really meant to give you that first one. It's like, oh wait, oh, wait my kill skills went down for any reason. Like, okay, that's when you want to use it. Because right now I don't have it. Like, I'm you usually use it when you're looking for new targets. So I'm looking for a new target. I see one. I do the swap. And I actually did not successfully pull it off that time. But he's slagged, which means I can also go for the bag here. Here we go. That's why quick swapping to the right weapons is more important. I could have died there because I swapped. I accidentally swapped to the Pushka. All right, so it's life tap. So 6% life steal is actually a lot. I think. That's better than... That's that's better. Most max weapons are 2.5%. I think the ruby is 5%. That would make... I officially, on kill skill, have the... I would think... I, I think the grog is higher. So I think the grog is still higher... Higher life steal than what I have now. But 6% is not bad, and I can use whatever weapon I want. Um, so yeah, so Tannis, she got given Siren Powers and I really didn't know how I felt about it because I like, it was, I was under the impression that like it worked more like the Force did in Star Wars. Where, well, well now we don't know because of Acolyte, but my brother got me, was talking to me about what happened in Acolyte and he basically told me like the big reason why he doesn't like the series and I don't want to go too far into that part of it. But the Force in Star Wars when like it has, it's kind of like the, the, the god being almost it's like it's what determines the path the course of the universe and the idea was that the force conceived a child because the mother of anakin skywalker said there was no father so like okay the force conceived the child into um this woman and this this boy when they tested his blood had the highest midichlorian count which is the highest indicator of what would make someone force sensitive or other in other words force sensitive mean able to become a jedi or has has like a drawing with the force uh yeah the highest midichlorian count they had ever tested then uh, i think obi-wan said that's that's higher than master yoda's so he had a very high midichlorian count. There was no father. Like, he could be the chosen one to bring balance to the Force. And by and that, that, the prophecy was that there was going to be a chosen one to bring balance to the Force. So it's like, could this be the one to bring balance to the Force? And that that's this. I could go into the entire story. Like, people still debate. To, I mean, most people agree, I think, at this point that he is, was the was the one who brought balance to the Force. Oh, my gosh, that reload speed. Oh, holy. Oh, that's right. I got blue. Wait, use it. I got to use it. Shamelessly use it against the Witch Doctors. Thank you. Okay, now I get why an Avenger would be kind of nice. I'm, I'm kind of against him. Against him. Yeah, t when they gave Siren powers to both Ava and Tannis, I was like, okay, cool, I get it. Like, that's your, that's your thing. Nice. To me personally, Sirens immediately became a little bit less, I would say, exclusive. You know, they're less cool. That's fine. Like, there's already how many sirens in the game? It's like, I'm okay with them all kind of being accounted for. It just kind of 
that storyline has kind of reached its fruition minus like there's a one or two more sirens out there technically because of handsome jacks like there's only six many this many sirens in the universe at one point but that's only his perspective so, i mean there's a lot to talk about that's a loot giant shock sport by the way if we can bring that down i never kill these lads if we can bring this guy this lad to to join the, the fight over here maybe he will only go in the other zone man i really want to get this guy down here over to me I want him to walk this way. Come this way, brother. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm hurting you. I want you... I'm sorry, dude. He's... I actually do feel kind of bad. He's just kind of minding his own business. You know what, bro? I'll meet you on the other side if you decide to show up. So I think he's... According to the map, <laughs> I think he will be visible to me. Unless you want to... Unless you want to the party over here right now. Okay, so when I do tag him, he goes towards his zone. That's his path of... Of aggro, I guess he has to go that way first. Let's use some drifter eggs. I'm, I'm still looking for some good gear here. Okay, a weapon of choice is probably going to be this weapon. I really don't need the life tap or the fire rate at this point. Let's just drop this guy down with a couple grenade tosses. Have my kill skills anyway. No need to use my uh, turrets here. Go. Ammo regen on kill would be kind of nice. I do have ammo reduction on kill. So yeah, that's my thing with Tannis. That's my. It's not really. I don't have beef with her. It's just. Do I have bias that like you really just would rather just go get quests from people that sh that you thought had fun quests as a kid? Is that like my beef, or is it really that I care about who I turn into, like, who I turn the and who I turn the weapon in, the quest into? Because I would always like I would go straight to Marcus whenever I turned and sent anything in for him. Be like, yep, Marcus, dude, I I got you. I got I did the work. Thanks for the payout. Although I don't like how I shoot that guy in the leg. I shot the guy in the leg. The refund thing. <sighs> Two fang a chance to fire a gun twice, but I gotta think about maybe my long-term future. I don't have infinite money for respects. Onslaught would be a nice kill skill to get. And Mylan has really good synergies. Okay. Well, I don't even have... You don't have the points, brother, because you haven't killed Bloodtail. Who softlocked me in my last run because I did have the Reign of Giants class mod on my last Maya run. Last time I saw this lad, I was I was geared to the gills. Hey, get over here. I I don't want I don't want his blood tails loot to fly off the cliff. Come back over here. There you go. I'll just tag you. Come on, get a tag. There you go. Tag you once. I'll give you some kill skills to worry about. Now do it with Metal Storm. Well played. Not my favorite launch in the world, simply because it's got one shot, and I think it's like a, it's a, it says twelve pounder, so I think it's like it's an actual bowling ball or something. What is it? I don't have photo mode on. I don't think. Okay, so this, this could really be a, a grenade of the future, a class mod of the future, because of plus six onslaught, plus five Metal Storm. We have both those skills, and one gives me fire rate, one gives me a ton of gun damage and movement speed. I would argue that gun damage, fire rate, and movement speed are the three most important stats you can have in the entire game. So, it's a pretty nice combo. Um, those two skills, of course, being the... Of course, being Axton's... Oh, pre-built-in skills. So on onslaught is down here. Onslaught killing an enemy increases your gun damage and movement speed for a short time. It comes from Axe then. And Metal Storm killing an enemy dramatically increases your fire rate and reduces recoil for a short time. More you know. Um, we could probably get away with an amp shield, honestly. I'm kinda down if I have a lot of lifesteal to run a more uh, to run a little bit a more aggressive grenade. Um, so I, I, I want to do something like a kind of aggressive, aggressive, maybe a longbow singularity, just, just to kind of really push my, push my advantage on the battlefield. I think we definitely want something corrosive and five points. Let's get down the skill tree further. I think go Mylan. Do I care about 
Saber turrets deployed on walls and ceilings? No, because I don't have longbow. Okay. Elemental elation could be really strong because I'm using elemental weapons anyway. So that's going to give me... It comes from Krieg and it gives me more fire rate. Um, when I dot enemies, the, the kicker is that in order to get the, the stacks to not go away, you need to be on fire. But I think you could probably keep up the stacks relatively well in, in a fight. Oh, I'm, I'm doing weapon swap reloads when I should just be slagging her and then hitting the one button and then bagging her and okay, now let's let's just do a smart swap here it's a little smart swap me holding my turrets really does not do anything for me let's get a turret out there okay where's i don't like to knock, knock off the edge is the only thing that can really get me here i think okay take some cover this round is dangerous these guys are pretty tanky okay what did we get okay a perma shark baby maker Ladies and gentlemen, the best, the best uh, throwing weapon in the game. Okay, so we go Mylan, and I know that doesn't have synergy with what we got going on, but it's worth it. Do I have any splash damage? I mean, no kill like overkill would be a nice bonus because there's going to be so much overkill that it's going to, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna get so lob slag singularity. I'm gonna get so much overkill from my grenade throw that my next shot is going to do a lot of damage. I need to take one shot anyway with TD ors. Just saying. Just saying. You said you need me to collect serif crystals. These, these aren't serif crystals, so I'm not too worried about them. Let's keep going down this skill tree. Let's go to. At this point. I got a baby maker, and I think I'm going to lean, lean into it a little bit heavier. I still want the kill skills. I still want life tap and all that. But it might just be better for me to take the reload speed here instead. Go max. Go max SMG SUs and lean into this baby maker. The problem is that the, depending on what boss we get, I might have to really hard pivot to a different kind of build. We have a decent... We have a decent regular gun damage build ready, ready to be wielded, but I think we'll take the ready roaster. I'm pretty sure this is more of like a, a, like a regular launcher, so I like, and it kind of looks cool, so we take that. Um, okay, let's run it. I think we, we shouldn't betray ourselves by not at least taking getting max smg s to use the baby maker is an exceptional weapon and if i have to i can swap oh that's pistol there we go there's smgs go so smgs down to 217 mm, down to 182 so i can only do one more pull at the box anyway we make our decision after we get the pull at the box that way we can see if we get a high power weapon okay grenage anti-affection and a storm front I think that we'd just be silly not to go Grenache. I understand that a lot of these bosses have redu resist certain kinds of damage, but at the end of the day... What's what's my go-to shock weapon? I, I, I just really don't have anything of a crawl right now. If I'm forced to go shock, it's probably this, this bandit overkill. If I'm forced to go shock. Oh. Yeah, well, give me something. We're ready. Let's run it. So Tiberius, which I do this correctly, should be an absolute freebie. I think we do go for slag, but we gotta be quick. Not, not worth it, not worth it, not worth it. Should have just gone for straight DPS. Okay. I think what we do here is we, we definitely singularity to these guys. Get them in one big group, and then use bombs to get them down. Get Hyperus in the explosion as well. I mean, we're going to call it an absolute easy one. The Baby Maker, I th this is a Hyperus specialist. This is probably the best outcome that we could have possibly asked for. 
need you guys to get in a little bit closer to my boy Hyperius. You know what? Whatever. Let's blow him up. I'll get, an, I'll get enough in the old time on the boss. Just doing this natty. Here we go. Go ahead. Do your thing, brother. Too strong. You're too weak. Get one shot. Okay. Well, I can, hey, you guys need Seraph Crystals? Got you. 100%. I don't know what, what that I can do with these, but I've got you. Need Seraph Crystals, Vault Hunter. Okay. I'm the lad for the job. Okay, our build was pretty much specialized to take on that kind of foe, to be honest with you. So, we, got, we at least got to pull it off. We got to do the thing. Which, in my opinion, is pretty sick. Big fan of it. Okay. Alright, still looking around because honestly, I, I do want to get these hair crystals now. And honestly, there's, there is something a little bit, you know, there's something a little bit therapeutic about just running around the boss zone after and just making sure you didn't miss anything. It's like picking up all your rewards and all that. Next thing you know, oh look, there's another purple on the ground. What is it? I don't, I don't think I have quick charge, but if I did, holy... Yeah, no quick charge. That would make my shield start going up on a kill as well, which I... Which I'm surprised that of all the kill skills that I didn't get, I'm pretty sure I don't have one. Move like wind, maybe? Or how... What's the name of this the zero kill skill that I have over here? Follow through. No, it's just movement speed and gun damage. I really do not have shield heal on kill. Yeah, I don't. That's out of all the kill skills to not get, that's one of them. But I have life tap this time, so it kind of makes up for it, in my opinion. On to tier two. Feeling strong with this baby maker. I'm also feeling confident that my build right now is a gun specialist build. I, I can I can rock these TD or grenade chucks with this baby maker, or what if I get something else decent to drop, I can just instantly swap and make that the star of the show. Feeling this is exactly where I want it to be. Oh my goodness. I'm pausing. I'll see you guys in a second. Just when you think you know a guy. Honestly. This guy won't mess with the parkour. Okay, that last jump is tricky. Just saying. Let's roll. Tier two. What I was gonna say about in the beginning about Rogue Lance minis, I think that there I think that between the two modes, there is a there would be like an optimal um a mode that's about 40 minutes to an hour long with one raid boss that would be perfect in my opinion all right tanis note reads i've acquired a significant amount of data from one count from one of you uh, can i read please Everyone, let me do the reading, okay? I've practiced reading this whole, like, last two and a half years. Tennis note reads, I've acquired a significant amount of data from your combat encounters, but I feel as if... I, but I feel as it isn't enough. Okay, fine. Because of that, I've added more Seraph Crystal power to the simulation. Things will get tough from here, but I'm sure you can handle it. I'm off getting pizza, and no, you may not have any. Tannis. All right. You know that I die in real life, Tannis, that if you... If I die in the game. So, why are you turning up the difficulty on me, brother? Sister. <clears throat> okay. At least I know what's going on in the lore. What happened here? Okay. There's, there's, there's something underneath here, too. Poor guy. Okay, let's see. Absorb shield, turtle shield. No, my mine is mine's kind of like the. So I want to say that I don't want to call it the creme de la creme, but it's definitely decent. This is a zone where you got to we got to turn our audio down. Unfortunately, it's the echoes of the walls. Don't blame me. It's nobody's fault. 
Let's use turrets. Let's use turrets for um, uh, aggro tanking. And just go baby maker. Watch out for the secondary explosion that just hit me. I gotta start looking out for that. Baby maker can... Oh, a little blade action? Let's go. I didn't... The baby maker does have a, gr a secondary explosion sometimes. Gotta look out for that. So it didn't happen. It didn't happen. I think it, it happened there. Yeah, it happened there. This always happens if you hit the ground. Maybe. Oh, no, there, there it is, right there. See that? How often does that happen? It doesn't matter what you hit. That's two in a row. Three in a row. Four in a row. Five in a row. I was under the impression that it sometimes doesn't happen. Oh, oh, okay, there's two, actually. Okay. And it has a pink trail. But that one has a pink and a blue trail. So I can always expect the pink trail. Or, or a blue trail. Or a blue trail. Or a pink trail. It's the baby maker. It's, it's blue and pink. And sometimes both. Wait, wait, what are the possibilities? What are the possibilities? Can I get like a times eight? Okay. So, killing enemy increases your gun damage movement speed for a short time. I think we owe it to ourselves to take onslaught, personally. So now when we talk, when we when we go tossy toss into that, we have a lot more mo movement speed. And I tried to just slide, but I, I took off the sliding mod. Didn't feel right. This is what I've been waiting for: a different element of. TDR chucks, but slag isn't the element I'm looking for because most bosses that I think resist explosive, they also resist slag. I think Terra Morphus. I just I I'm I'm just worried that this weapon can't kill Terra, that it can't kill Pyropeat, and that it can't kill Craw. Okay, audio can come back up now. What I think it can kill? Well, Hyperus was the one that I was pretty confident. Like, that is literally the best boss to get for that situation. This is a tough zone. I think I'm going to want some defensive turrets out here. I'm, I've been lucky. I've been playing pretty aggressive, and they haven't spawned in any of the tour destroyers. So, they usually spawn in the next zone anyway. Let's go ahead and get my turret back for some extra CDR. Ooh, Borderlands symbol me. Let's go. Sheriff's badge and Captain Blaze auto idol. I can't get behind it. Especially not in a run where I'm, instead of... Um, instead of getting shields back on kill, I get health. So like the extra 8% from Captain Blaze auto idol really won't be that insane. An amp ship probably goes pretty hard. I'm not gonna lie to you. I think it probably goes pretty hard. I just gotta make sure I don't die in this zone. Where's the first lad spawning? All the way over there? Target that. Okay. Now you spawn in. Got you. The movement speed should help me out here. I got hit by my own baby maker. Gotta be careful about that. That's a that's a Torg destroyer. How fast can we kill it? Not fast enough. Not fast enough. Okay, we're fine. Life steal on kill. Life steal on kill. Oh, ho, ho. I think if I, if I if I had landed that toss, I think we would have been fine. Life steal on kill. Back to full. I can't tell if that back to full was because of uh, was because of the round being over or what. But okay, so I think. Realistically, do I want more reload speed? I think my reload speed is a little bit fine. I honestly kind of want to get thrill of the kill. Overkill damage heals me. 
That should really make my mobbing like really super exceptional. Life steal and overkill damage heals me. Rocking a, a baby maker. The question is now. I'll, uh, this might become really handy. The question is now. Last mod. Does reload speed max size really outdo? Was the grenade damage one? I got. I must have picked it up right. I didn't. Okay, because I don't have to worry about the decision now. I thought I picked up a grenadier along the way, but apparently I did not. I thought I knew where the pressure plate was here. It is tier two though. It's not the, as important. Let's roll. Not as important. Okay. Oh, hey, don't hit me. This, as long as I don't get knocked off the knocked off the edge in this stage, we should be fine here. Let's reclaim my turret. I really don't need to have it out here for tanking. Easy zone. Okay, let's round up a whole bunch of enemies now, because I I kind of want to. Um. I kind of want to... Hey, go down. I almost I almost want the, the Grenadier just for the explosive damage resist. I want to see if I can get a loot enemy to spawn. So let's see, just get a few more lads in here. Anybody loot? Anybody looted out their gourd? It doesn't look like it. No tubbies or anything. Are there, I don't think there's any more enemies up top. So let's just... What? Let's just take, let's just take one out while we're here. Okay. Let's go for five points into No Kill like Overkill. Elemental Empathy plus Elemental Elation is kind of sick. Not gonna lie to you. Our elemental build is gonna go crazy. Like a seraph? The Seraphim? And then we run something like... Team Fire Rate? What's... Or... Honestly... Maybe run this, this bad layer right here. Onslaught Metal Storm. And just go Seraphim and run around and have some fun with it. That could be fun. Of course, I could always go a sorrowful damage and a sorrowful mag size. But let's let's lean into some kill skills. With that being said, let's get Metal Storm a little bit more juiced up then, yeah? Better half or even more? Now, reload speed's going to be a problem. If I'm going to go for this max... Um, what, what should I say? Assault rifle build here, but... I don't want to mix it up. The Baby Maker, yeah, it's, it is fun, but... I don't want to shoot an sorry fall somebody. <laughs> this guy, this guy is getting cocky. He's not even using best option available. He's not even, he's not even using meta. It's like, well, maybe this will be better and I kind of want to try it out. Don't you know, don't you Borderlands, bro? Never Borderlands once in your life? I should have been recording YouTube videos back when BL3 dropped because I was, I was cooking up shenanigans. Shenanigans. Not even when it, they dropped, just like in general. I was, I was cooking up so much shenanigans on Moe's. Like I'm talking min-maxing the exact amount of ammo regen you need to keep the highest fire rate weapons in the game at like, at like a super small percentage of your, of your mag size to get the, the gigantic bonuses. And it was hilarious fun. Like that, we're, we're talking. Oh my gosh, is that a blaster on me? I'm this. This isn't working the way I envisioned. We should be able to pick up a kill here, but maybe not. Let's just let's just be safe here and blow everybody up. There we go. Onslaught, metal storm, Clean, cleanses everybody. That's Seraphim. I'm not sure if it's me or it's the Seraphim, but I'm not sure what was going on there. Come on, we got some. Got some kill skills now. Show me something here. 
So when the kill skills drop, we're gonna go for a swap. I have shock damage resist. If there's any time for this to work, it's now. I just, I just don't see it when the baby maker can just when the baby maker can just can just do heinous things. Okay, just don't die to my own grenades. Yeah. Sorry to the to the Metal Storm and Onslaught fans. Duke. And that's without the max size and yeah, the max size bonus. Sane. Back it on up. Later, and then this guy wants to spawn over here because he thinks he's funny. Okay. The only two kill skills we honestly need at this point. I mean, the the the, the movement speed is nice. Fire rate is not necessary. It's actually a slight debuff because then I'll fire more than one bullet most a lot of times. But the only one I really need is life tap. Realistically. So. Rackman, easy boss. As long as he doesn't soft lock me for 20 minutes, then this should have been a, not only a decent fight, but a somewhat fun one. Oh, man. I came off this last weekend. Um, busy weekend. It was... It was Saturday for me. I had a meetup at a Marine Corps function to basically be like, yep, I'm still alive. Um, here's my information. Here's where I live. If there's something pops off in the next 20, uh, 12 months, let me know. But I'm still, I'm contractually, contractually obligated to do that for at least for the next uh, 12 months. Um, oh, I don't get the one shot. It's okay. If I had, if I had points in steady and shoot the flesh and all that jazz, we'd be... Absolutely fine there. Okay, bro. Oh, yes, a TDR chuck weapon. That's perfect. Or a, a, a shock one, I mean. This is... Some, this can get a little bit heinous with how long this guy like runs away for, so I just farm up the stage while he's doing his thing. Okay. Drop his shields down. Oh, yeah. There we go. He drops me a boom puppy. The guy has the gall to drop me a boom puppy. Mm. Okay. I think at this point, it's uh, it's going to be a respec anyway coming up. But let's do... Mm. Let's just make our reloads faster and get some get a chance to slag. Let's roll. Get a chance to slag on our shots. This should be an easy fight. The really only time you can struggle with this with this girl, I mean, realistically, is if you were rocking only shotguns. Like if you have a Ravager build going, that can be tough against her because her heal juice is her most powerful attack. That's her gimmick. Is that? She is not the squishiest boss. She she is somewhat tanky, as you saw. It took me like what eight TDR chucks to bring her down there to her into her face. That's that's not nothing. We have so much SMG ammo that I feel comfortable literally mobbing with a baby maker full spam. Our luck is actually kind of insane. Ho ho ho. Alright, are you done? Yeah. What's up? Get four stacks, finish burst, outburst. We didn't get it. All we have to do now is play at a distance that we can react to her, her heal burst. Now, the one attack that is annoying is the, the when I get slowed. It's got a kill skill up and running. There we go. Oh, that one. That's the one right there. Did I get away in time? Nope. Okay. That's, that's her claim to fame, that one right there. Ow. Okay, back up to full. It's life tap. But my SMG ammo is getting a little bit low. So let's swap over to my Seraphim. This is my backup. It's here for the situation specifically. 
You know what, Seraphim? I'll even give you a little bit of juice with some kill skills to, before we even start. How about that? Not bad. Not bad performance right there, brother. You can also be definitely throwing, like, Teslas down. Yeah, how about just start throwing some storm fronts down? Help me out here a little bit too. Don't don't put it all on the seraphim to get the job done. Got some pretty good grenade damage as well. And now we should be able to collect up a couple SMG mags here. Whoa, I walked right into her heal juice. Ah, uh, looks like she she used it from too far away though. I was wondering if she would use it from too far away. And she definitely did right there. I was even charging at her. I didn't even see, realize she was doing it. A Varuk? I think we do take a Varuk. Okay. Interspersed outburst. And... I'm seeing kind of like, you know, the, the limitations of our build here. There's lots of good skills. Don't get me wrong. I think Tufang puts up the most DPS. Okay. Got a kitten. A morning star, a couple commerces. You know what? At the end of the day, a commerce can actually be kind of okay if you're fighting a pirate Pete. If you like, because you can dial in on his head. So maybe it will be okay. I just want to see which one of these is the better version. The social one. Yeah. Morning star, not the biggest fan of it. The Scorpio, I feel like the Ver it's a nice assault rifle, but I feel like the Verux is better. Nice chance to look around for some class mods though inside the Tiny Tina zone. What kind I'm looking for, I'm not sure, but that's kind of like the fun of the of the Tiny Tina class mods. There's so many different kinds. You really don't know what you're gonna get. Okay, those storm fronts being rubberized is a little bit of a sadness to me. I I would much rather either longbow or lobbed. But regardless, I think we're fine. The speedy shield's nice with a 1.65 delay. Longbow slag transfusion. That's like, typically for me, that's like a top tier. But for this, for this specific game, I don't think it is top tier. Because I kind of be much better off going for kill skill lifesteal. Okay, here we go. Magazine size plus 80. Grit, impact, and ranger. No. Grit, impact, and ranger. So the neutral good. So the ranger class once I see. Okay, so I would say that these are all good, really good class mods. Getting grit, getting impact, getting ranger. Unfortunately, I don't have those skills. <laughs> The ones I have are Onslaught and Metal Storm. So. The max size does go absolutely nuclear, 80% though. It can, go even, it can go even higher beyond. What the heck? 83%. Max size? Plus my SMG max ammo. That's a little ridiculous. Okay, but I still want other options. Talk to me. Speak my language. That's not it. Mm, that's not it either. But it's a it's a it's a shock to Dior. Okay, come on. I need you to start. I need you to start speaking to me. Speak to me. Something that, something that'll change this run. Something that'll push me over the edge. Okay. This is the time where you get it right. Okay. We just look at that. Let's roll. Always hit the box. And we get Terramorphous too. Thing is, I think Terramorphous was just explosives. Resist grenades. I don't think we're gonna try Baby Maker first just to see. Um, and I think Terramorphous does resist this this Northfleet pretty heavily. 
But one thing I do have is a little bit of launcher damage. I will try that out after. We'll try that out after. But for now, let's start with Baby Maker. And we have max... We, SMG max ammo is going to be the best for us at this moment. Slag a little bit inconsistent. I can try to put on something. I think a sticky longbow fire leash makes a lot of sense. Sounds exactly like what we need for this fight. Because I can just chuck it right at Terramorphus and get the full leech effect. Let's go for grenade chucks right off the rip here. See, I think I think he resists. It's really not bad damage for Terramorphus. But I think this guy is resisting what I'm doing to him. Okay, so I think the same thing is going to happen if I go for this launcher belt. Um. And I really don't want to give up all my extra mag size just to try out the North Fleet against Terra. As much as as much as I love fighting Terra. Right, for this next one, I think we're gonna go kill skills here. Get out of here, homie. There we go. That should have worked. There we go. Got some kill skills now. I'm probably cashing another one here. Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. I got one down immediately. I was like, where it spawned or something like that. I think I put one low. Holy cow. Let's get another one low. Wait, why is that happening? Why am I getting one shot? Uh oh. That's not good. That's not good at all. Well, <laughs> Tara claims me. Tara absolutely claims me. But we had a pretty fun run and a pretty good time while doing it, so. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe to see more videos like this one, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.